Hey guys, it's Katie, and there is no denying that we are basically heading into fall in like a week. It's unofficially fall. You guys are back at school, back at work. So I thought this would be a good time to bring you a desk workout. So little exercises you can do to work your core, flatten your tummy, all while you sit behind the desk. I say it all the time, but the little things do matter. So if you can incorporate these moves into your everyday throughout the day, you are definitely gonna feel stronger, more toned, and see the changes. So if you're ready, sweat the thumbs up, give it a little click, and let's get started. Okay, you guys, so these are some moves I used to do when I was sitting super bored in class, when you know you have those classes where you're like counting down, looking at the clock the entire time. So this is a five minute workout you can do, and I would try to do it throughout the day, and I promise you're really gonna start to see those changes happen. So the first thing is vacuuming, and I talk about this all the time, but it's all about engaging your core. So not sucking in your stomach where you can't breathe and you're like, <gasps> right? It's engaging your core. So imagine someone came and punched you in the stomach, what your muscles would do, they'd like flex and tighten up. That's what I want you to do. Pull that belly button into your spine. I'm doing it right now. We're gonna do it for about a minute and just chit chat and hang out. And I used to do this and look at the clock and hold it for as long as I could, squeezing those muscles as tight as you can. You're gonna feel them, like squeeze it. Brain, body connection, tight, tight, tight. And you kind of just hang out and act like you're paying attention. No, you should pay attention, but like, just do your thing, or if you're like in a meeting that's really boring, or even if it's not boring, driving in the car, da, 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 anything like that, just engage those muscles, try to hold it for a whole minute, keep squeezing them, and then in a few seconds, let's do it for about five more, four, three, two, I want you to release, just for a couple seconds. Then we're gonna engage that core again, because that's the posture and that like form that I want you to have all the time, and constantly think about doing that throughout the day, because that's gonna help draw your muscles in, tighten up your stomach area. Instead of your muscles forming and relaxing like out, they're gonna to form to that nice tight, like little waist. So squeeze them in, and then we're gonna do little rotations. So you can have your hands down, you can have them on the side, you can have them on your desk, but the goal is to just twist. So twisting from the midsection, right at your waist. It's little, no one around you has to know what's happening. You're just twisting. Maybe like you could have a song in your head for about 30 seconds on each side. Got it. Squeeze, and again, you're still tightening up that core. Little twist, kind of like you're stretching out. You'd be like, ooh, yeah. I used to do the funniest stuff when I would sit in a desk, especially when I had my own office. It was funny. I would do like full workouts, but this is good. It's a little bit more subtle. Twist, and squeeze, couple more. Last one, then we're gonna switch sides. Twist. Good, and you are gonna feel that all in that middle section. And while you're doing it, again, you're gonna feel it like in the midsection, maybe to the upper abs. I want you to think about those lower abdominal muscles still and squeeze them in tight. Twist, squeeze, good. Nice and tight. You make this as big or as little as you want, but the more you twist and rotate, the more you're gonna feel it. A few more here, especially because your lower body is stationary, which is good, forcing just your upper body to move from that midline. Last one, and let it go. Another one that's really good, now that we've kind of hit the midsection and those upper abs, is to bring it to the lower abdominals. So again, lock up that core, think of that vacuuming, tighten it, and then all you're gonna do is lift one knee at a time, like little marches. So you seriously could be like fully into your class or into your meeting, whatever it is, paying attention, taking notes, but this is actually good, not only because it works your core, but sometimes you just need to move your body. If you are sitting for long periods of time, it can be so hard. So it's more than just about like strengthening those muscles and maybe burning some calories. It's about just letting your body move and relax and stretch out a little bit. So bring those knees up. We're gonna be here for a minute, one at a time. Squeeze and lift, good. Do, do, do. And if you wanna make it a little bit more challenging, you can always place your hands on your seat and do a double knee. You're gonna tuck your pelvic a little bit more. So this takes a little more effort. It's a little bit more noticeable. <laughs> the other one's easy to do and you're just kind of Keep it going, lift up. Got a couple more here. Four, three, two, and one. And our last move is gonna work into those obliques again, into our side body. This is also again really good to stretch your body out. So you know when you like drop a pencil and you have to bend over to reach it up? Think of that. So a little side bend and lift it up. A little side bend and lift. So you're keeping everything square to the front, your shoulders, 
your hips. So you're not twisting and rotating, you're just getting that stretch in one side of your body and then using the abs on that side to pull you back up. Squeeze and lift, two more. And then we're gonna switch sides. Whoop, another pencil down, up, <laughs> down and up, squeeze. Good. And this is way more productive than doodling. I used to be like a crazy doodler. I still am actually, but it's good. You get more out of it. Stretch. And it is really nice because you get that stretch on this one. It kind of wakes your body up too. Let's work those abs. Five more seconds. Good. Two more. And last one. And back to work. All right, guys, so I'm challenging you right now to do this once per hour. So it's just a five minute workout. No one has to know you're even doing it once per hour. And I want you to comment right now and tell me where you're gonna be doing this workout. And if you guys aren't already a part of Team LSF, I'll put the link below. You can sign up for all of our free challenges. Follow on Instagram at lovesweatfitness. And don't forget, good things come to those who sweat. So I'll see you next week for another awesome workout. Bye.